andito na po lahat yung kabalen. So would you say this is worth it for for ten bucks? Kain tayo. in Kabalen. Mondays to Thursdays is 378 pesos and on weekends which includes Fridays so Friday Saturday Sunday and then holidays it's 398 pesos per person um, and then you can also have a drink all you can but you just have to add 85 pesos it's like this so we're gonna eat now and see if it's worth it um, I'm, I'm so hungry I didn't eat breakfast yet this is our very first time this is the first time trying um, all you can eat Filipino food ever. So I got a mix of everything. Mainly chicken. And then I got the sauce of like the other stuff. This is like um, chicken barbecue. This is asado chicken and then just the veggies of the other ones. And then again I got some salad here. Can you see? So this is the bangos na pinapotok ko ang baboy and um, yung piyang hubad. 3.98 pesos is like $10 Canadian. Is it Canadian or US? What you use? US then So $10 Canadian. So in Canada, an all you can eat, mind you, there's no all you can eat in, like all you can eat Filipino food in Canada or at least I haven't seen one. But yeah, like. $10? When we go to like a Filipino restaurant, you can order like um, a combo with two meals and rice for like around ten dollars. And here, ten dollars for all you can eat food. Oh my gosh, and it's really good food too. So, tara na, kain na po tayo. Honestly, it's so good. It's like a home cooked meal. It's like a home cooked meal. It tastes just like your mom's cooking. Safe to say that I'm gonna go for seconds. And also, it's a good thing I didn't eat breakfast this morning. It's like almost lunchtime, and this is my first meal of the day. Super worth it. So if you, if any of you guys are planning to um, come here, come here with an empty stomach. So we're just gonna eat. Makita niyo pa yung mga. Pinapotok na bangus. I don't know what is why it's called pinapotok na bangus. Pumotok? Yeah, it exploded while you're cooking it or something. Or there's just a bunch of stuff on top of it, like an explosion. So let's try it. Today is about trying new things. I'm gonna put calamansi on it. Just because everything is so much better with calamansi. If you know, you know. It's an explosion of flavor because it has like tomatoes, um, onion, and I'm not sure about garlic. So now I'm gonna try the tokwam baboy because I've never actually had this before. So this is not pork, this is um, tofu, right? So I put a little bit of sauce there, but I can't see the sauce now, so I'm hoping it absorbed it. I'm not sure if I mixed up all the different sauces, but um, it's okay. I like the salad. Mm, this is not salad. This is a uh, lumpia hobai. A little like inside of a lumpia. I think there's a sauce for the lumpia too. Yeah. I just didn't get it. So imagine the insides of something. M ate this earlier and he said he's not used to eating lumpia like a pancit. But I'm fine with it. It's like eating salad. Mm. 
It's really good. I don't know if you guys can hear the crunch. Are you gonna get a drink for an additional 85 pesos? I don't know. No. It's okay now. I don't know if you guys remember that commercial. It's okay now. For those of you guys who are wondering, if you're like health conscious, you can definitely eat here. Just don't eat the rice. You can have this limpium hubad, and you can have the um, tofu and fish. Vegetarian options. Um, they just have a bunch of like steamed veggies and uh, soup and fresh um, palaya, like this bitter melon. Oh my god, you talk about the kind of salad. Sit up. Sit up. I was just talking to Em. I'm like, there's a bunch of different food here that you can try. It's so good. But there's also a lot of rice. And you know how like it tastes good together? But my tip is don't get a lot of the rice. It'll be full like easily. So just get a bunch of ulam and just a little bit of rice. So would you say like 10% rice, 90% um, ulam? We got some dessert here. This one is called Lelot Balatong. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it is yet, so I'm gonna try, check it out. There's not a lot of uh, options for desserts, um, at least compared to like, you know, other places have been. Um, but it could be that it's still too early, like this is not the peak of like the lunch hour, so they can be, it's possible that they could be um, taking out more desserts after. Mm. This is like burnt kind of rice. Burnt with like rice. burnt rice with like Mungo. coconutty. Yeah. Mungo. That. It's actually pretty good. I like it. At first I thought this was um ginataan. Mm. That's really good. And then I got some um fruits like I got the different colored watermelon. And I also got soup because I'm weird like that. Desserts and soup. <laughs> oh my god. We got drinks. So they have like pop options like soda. And then, but then this one's special because I'm special. Um, it's the Got Kolaman, and this is part of the, their um, drink all you can option. And then M got the melon one. Well, he thought I'd like the melon, but I actually like this Got Kolaman. It's in my belly now. I didn't expect today's gonna be like a food trip kind of day. Initially wanted to show you guys like the things that we didn't expect coming here, um, but then we got hungry, so it became like this. Another tip when you're going to an all-you-can-eat, take your time. Don't eat like me. No, I actually took my time. But there was like a, there was a spiky thing in the uh, one of the beans. It scratched my throat. I really like it. Do you want to try this one? No, no, no. Do the please, please. The airplane's coming. Mmm, it's good. It's not that sweet. What is it called again? It's lolit baratong, lolit baratong, or something like that. I forgot. Wow. And dito na pulahat yung kabalen. So would you say this is worth it for for ten bucks for ten Canadian dollars? Oh yeah. This, this food is definitely worth it. Given the uh, the menu, lots of Filipino food. It's like a home cook style cooking. Plus the price is the best part. It's only we can't help but compare every time we buy something. Yeah, we can't help but convert things. I know a lot of people have told us stop converting, stop converting. You lose money, or you lose your money fast that way. It's just gonna go down the drain. But yeah, we can't help it. It's only ten bucks. So we love it. It's worth it. Okay, so I'm eating tofu sisig right now. I've never had tofu sisig in my life. So I've had tofu chicken, no, sisig chicken, sisig bangos, sisig pork, and now I'm trying this. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think my most favorite thing, most favorite ulam out of all this that I tried is the asado manok. I think my most favorite thing, most favorite ulam out of all this that I tried is the asado manok. Chicken asado, like as an ulam, I've never had it before. This is my first time. I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I eat. You can probably see the security guard right behind us over there. He entered from that uh, entrance there. I just got a little confused today because I asked the security guard why he's not checking our QR code anymore. He said it's optional. I, don't, I was like, is it optional for the security guard to check? Or is it optional for us to show it or not? I'm not sure what the actual rule is. <laughs> 